part three of the anime rant. Today I'm going to talk about pointless, pointless and overdone censoring in anime. Now I don't want to sound like a fanboy, but excuse me, I'm chewing them. But I hate it whenever anime goes to our shores because they're bound to be censored in some way. Let me tell you something. I want you to think of this for a second. If you take anime in its original form, and you bring it over to the American side of the world, and they bastardize it by changing names and, and editing out uh, pictures and everything, and uh, turning everything Amer Japanese into something American, don't you think that's a desecration of an art form? I want you to think about that for a few minutes. Okay, think it over. Let's move on. You see, when anime was nothing but this underground thing, it was fine. Because, oh, Winston, it's okay, buddy. You know what? You see, when anime was nothing but this underground thing that, no, that hardly anybody knew of, it was fine. Because, you know, nobody knew of it, so they weren't going to censor it. But now that it's spreading America like the plague, of course it's going to be censored and everything so that the kids wouldn't get scarred for life. I absolutely hate it whenever anime... I mean, dubbing, I could care less about, except when it gets a horrible cast of characters. I'm talking about Mega Man 8 horrible. Like, One Piece. They have such a horrible cast of characters, it's not even funny. None of the characters sound like they should. they supposed to. At least, I can't believe I'm saying this, at least Naruto has a good voice actor that sounds like him in the Japanese version. Uh, I think you all know what I'm going to say right now. The most notorious dubbing company for fucking over anime is 4Kids. They've ruined anime, as we know it. Because if it has like one drop of blood in it, they censor it out. And God forbid there's something Japanese, because we all know that if kids start learning about other cultures, they're going to get scarred for life. So, every rice ball has to be turned into a cookie. Every kanji has to be turned into English writing. Every car that's on the left side, on the right side of the road, has to be turned onto the right side of the road. And God forbid we have Japanese names for characters, so we have to act... So we have to turn them into names such as Amy and Rachel and Bob and Duke and Joe. It, it pisses me off. This is why I hate the American version of Sailor Moon. I love... I'm going to admit something right now. I love the Japanese version of Sailor Moon. It's deep. It's touching. It's awesome. But as soon as they shipped it over to America, you know, they couldn't have certain things be shown to our kids. Such as, oh, I don't know, the Japanese names of the characters. Usagi, Sakura, and all the other meaningful Japanese names that sound beautiful have been turned into meaningless names such as Amy and Rachel and all this other bullcrap. Now, it's, it's bullcrap. Correct me if I'm wrong, but wasn't there a lesbian relationship on the original Sailor Moon? You know, it wasn't like they showed any hardcore stuff. It's just, you know, they were lovers, and they loved each other, and and they were willing to do anything with each other. That's that's nothing too bad, right? But, oh, this is America. We can't have fags on cartoons. So what do they do? I imagine it went something like this. Okay, let's say Bob is the main dude of four kids, and Joe Kim comes up with an idea to, to Americanize and censor it so that it can be showed to kids. Actually, no, four kids didn't do it. Discard that. All right, Joe, what do you got? Okay, uh, we Americanized everything in Sailor Moon. We changed all the Japanese names around. We put all the cars on the right. We put all the cars on the left side of the road, and uh, we removed some of the. We removed most of the blood in it. Oh no, scratch it! All of the blood. That should be enough. I mean, why isn't? How come they're not giving us the okay to ship it to American shores? Well, you see, there's a problem. Two of the characters are lesbians. See, that is a problem. How are we gonna change? How are we gonna change the relationship, but still kind of have the story? Hmm. I got it. We'll make them cousins. Oh yeah, because fucking cousins is a lot better than fucking your lover. 